what you have are standards, what you express are expectations. People need to understand what your expectations are for things that you own. If you're accountable for the successful outcome of something like an event, then you are supposed to have expectations around it. It's one thing to express expectations to people who are your direct report, where you're using words like, here are my expectations. I expect for X, Y, and Z to happen. But if people are not your direct reports and you're teaming with them, like in your example, it's more of a success looks like this for me. How can we ensure that X, Y, and Z happen? So you're not saying to them, I have these expectations. You're saying, here's what success looks like. How can we ensure that these things happen over here? Now, what is within your manager's realm of control is positioning. There's this really important thing called positioning, especially when you, um, you know, before leadership and even once you get into it, even especially when you get into leadership, you have to have a manager that you're reporting to you that helps you with positioning for authority. If you are accountable for the successful outcomes of something like this event, an example of your manager positioning you for authority would be your manager saying to the event staff, whatever Tracy says she needs, make sure that happens. Or your manager talking to the event staff manager, making sure. So that's like position. Do you, do you see that type of support that happens? Because sometimes it's, it's even about as a part of me getting to know my new manager, who's the CEO. One of the things that I've noticed very early on is that this role has an opportunity for better positioning for authority because there are going to be a lot of things that I'm going to need to get done and I could use your help in that positioning this role. Here's what that help looks like.